Hi and welcome back to Larand Gaming and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I, I am Larand and uh, yes, we are here again in Fishing Simulator and we are gonna be watching, well actually we're gonna be participating in the first Void Storm. So this Void Storm is gonna be like a new weather effect in the game and it also includes a lot of different other very cool things that we're gonna see for the first time. Currently there's like one minute left until there's the first opportunity to actually be able to have a void storm. So we're gonna see if uh, we're gonna get lucky or if we have to just <laughs> wait for a while until we first see it for the first time. Yes, and here we have it. It's the first void storm. It has happened. <laughs> And we need to go and find something. We're gonna go and search for this new mini boss because it spawns once and only once during a void storm. So that's gonna be really interesting if we can see it somewhere. I'm gonna have the found the boss. Someone has already found the boss. Okay, so here is where you can fish, apparently. We're gonna go back to that one later. Okay, so let's see. Here we should have... Here we have the new one. Did I hear <laughs> when I was in free camera? Did I get an achievement? Have I been struck by lightning for the very first time now? And I didn't get it recorded? <laughs> okay, so... We got three loot pieces to pick up. I just wanted to hit it once just to make sure that I got some loot from it. And yes, I have been struck by lightning for the first time. <laughs> and I didn't get it on film. Oh no. Okay. Well, that's cool. <laughs> but we're gonna see you regarding the loot. This is interesting because I have no idea what to expect from this. So we got Kronkasaurus head. Two of them. And a tail. Alright. I suppose that we can get meat also. And maybe a tooth. I don't know. So now we have seen at least the mini boss. We're gonna see... Is there any more portals here? Is it just this one? But that one is actually gone now. Uh, so we need to be observant so we can keep track on uh, where these uh, dark void ponds. Those are the places that we need to <laughs> find. And uh, we also have, of course, uh, new hammerheads. We need to find those also. So let's see if we can go and find one or two. Oh, here we have them. New hammerheads. Nice. I saw one at least. Maybe it's easier to see them underneath the water if they glow. Okay, so I, <laughs> I've been... It's not easier to see because I've been struck by lightning, I guess. I don't expect me to get an egg, though, but... Uh, well, who knows? We might get lucky. One of those new ones. Really hard to see <laughs> with this lightning effect. Okay, so we have a new place to fish. Another dark void pond has spawned over here. Nice. Then we're gonna try to fish here. Oh, and we have a... <laughs> we have an egg already! Oh my god! It's Mook again! Again! Amazing! Ah, so we're gonna at least see one in... The <laughs> <laughs> in the shark tank. She was one of the first ones that got an egg when we had the normal uh, hammerheads. And now she got the new one as well. Okay, so it's gone. I didn't really get anything useful this time. Okay, so here we are in <laughs> Mook's aquarium again, just like when we did the thunderstorm video. And uh, yeah, I can see it already. We can go in free camera. And uh, here we have it, the void hammerhead shark. <laughs> wow, it does look amazing. 
really really good looking and uh, I can also see actually the ordinary hammerhead here so if you haven't seen it here it is again but uh, yeah we're gonna go back to this uh, void hammerhead once more and uh, yeah really cool and huge congratulations to Mook again and uh, hopefully I will also be able to get one and uh, yeah, since it's not that fun to just sit and watch someone else fishing, I'm just going to summarize what kind of fish you can get in Void Storms and where you can actually also get them. So we're going to go into the fish index first. And uh, if you go down to ocean and choose special fish, that's where you get all the weather related fishes. And we're just going to start talking about regular ocean without this dark void pond. Uh, you can get the shrimp, which is a common one. You can get the snapping turtle, which is the uncommon one. You can get the blue jellyfish, which is the epic one. And you have this beautiful sea butterfly fish, which is the mythical one. But then you have also these dark void ponds that can only occur during void storms. Here you can also get the shrimp. You can also get the snapping turtle. But you can also find this Dungeness crab, which is a rare one. You can still find the blue yellowfish, which was the epic one. But then we have three mythic fishes that you can't get anywhere else. The first one is this Taco Tomodashi. I don't really know if I pronounced it correctly, so <laughs> bear with me. But uh, yes, that's the one. Very difficult to get, by the way. I must mention that. And uh, you have this sea moth, which is also a mythical fish. And the one that I found the hardest one was this blooper. But they are all three mythical fishes that you can get from this dark void pond. But as a general comment regarding fishing in dark void pond, it's very slow. <laughs> it really requires a lot of time to reel the fish and when you get mythical fishes you can see that this white line that you need to keep in the green zone it jumps pretty heavily back and forth so when you're searching for this dark void pond keep track on the map down in the corner all the time so if you have something that has spawned you will see it on the outer frame of the mini map so i can just show you here in a picture what that looks like and uh, if you want to see it in a more specific location you need to open the world map and then you will see it directly from there but uh, when you don't have one don't look at the big map all the time just take a look at this frame on the small map first that will give you an indication if there are any nearby or not and regarding the Kronosaurus, this uh, mini boss, I don't really understand the purpose yet of it because I haven't really received anything that is quest related that I can return for shards or gems or anything, not any rewards or nothing. It just gives these items <laughs> uh, that I don't find that useful. So it's a tail, yeah, I have meat and I have the head. Uh, I've seen pictures of heart and I think there's a tooth also. I don't really know the purpose so far. According to sources it has 50,000 hit points that half the hit points of Mubi Wood. But uh, maybe in the future we will see more uh, that will be added into this loot list or something. Or if it's something that we haven't seen yet. One thing that would be cool is if you could have it like an egg to drop. Because then it would be actually very cool to be able to add that into the aquarium. Because the Kronosaurus isn't really that big. We are never ever going to be able to fit Moby Wood in the aquarium obviously. But the Kronosaurus, it makes sense. You, I think you should be able to have it as something very very rare. <laughs> that would be awesome. Because then, then it serves a little bit more of a purpose to actually hunt it. Because right now I don't really see the purpose. You can only find it also on public servers by the way worth to mention they didn't want us to be able to farm it and uh, that's also a little bit i would say a little bit weird if it doesn't really provide you anything that is out of interest in the loot table but who knows maybe in the future or it's something that has never shown up yet and regarding these dark void Ponds, something that is also important to know when it comes to fishing uh, near them. You don't need to stand in them, you don't need to hit them with the bobber, you don't need to touch it or anything like that. 
Just fish nearby and you will be able to receive all the fishes. However, it's very, very hard to get some of these mythical fishes. And you, I think you will notice that. You're most likely going to see the shrimps. You're going to see some snapping turtles. Maybe a crab or something. But these mythical fishes, yeah, definitely hard to get. But at the same time, I really kind of like that idea. That they are really hard to get. Because that makes them a little bit more special to get. Because looking back, when we got this remaster it's, uh, actually exactly 11 months ago now and then it became very easy to get mutations and everyone felt like yeah there's no challenge anymore into the game because everyone can get the mutations well here's the challenge <laughs> again it's back basically because now we have something that could really feel like a trophy to get because they are not that easy to catch it takes a lot of time it it requires a lot of work to get something nice out from it. And as for myself, did I get something good? Well, yes I did. Of course I did. Well, I shouldn't say of course, because it was hard. It was really hard. I got also <laughs> Void Hammerhead Sharks. Yeah, I said sharks, because I have two right now. And that's after, I think it's five Void Storms. So they are really hard now to get. I think they actually even lowered the drop rate of the eggs on both this Void Hammerhead and the normal Hammerhead. So... Void Hammerhead and this normal Hammerhead. I think it's like twice as hard right now. Comparing to what you had before this update came. So it's uh, currently 0.1% chance to get an egg. And uh, before the update it was 0.2%. And uh, before we end for today. Just one thing. This channel is uh, just about to reach 5000 subscribers. So a huge thank you for all your support. If you haven't subscribed already please do. I had this shirt that I made that I promised that I would keep until I reached 5,000 subscribers and then I would put it off sale. So this is the last weekend where you can actually get that shirt if you still haven't and still trying to decide if you want it. You got a few days more, like one day more <laughs> until I take it off sale. I have started to use this new version of the shirt. I have replaced Nemo uh, with a hammerhead of course because yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of hammerheads out there now with this weather update and uh, yeah small enhancements on the text in the front and a little gem here on the side that you can see because yeah I like gems basically and this shirt I've decided to put up for sale today so you can get it when this video has been published it's out for the minimum price as always five robux because I can't put it on zero I want to give it away to you all but uh, I can't but I will put the link to the old shirt and the new shirt in the description down below and in any case that was all I had for you today if you do have any questions and comments about this please put them below like this video if you'd like to see more content from fishing simulator please subscribe and uh, yes have a nice day bye everyone